Hi, please welcome to the part 11 of this video series. We are looking at some of the real certification questions. Please focus on the story and the concepts explained through the questions and the options. I would demonstrate the weeding techniques to remove the wrong answers. If you are looking for surety of passing, you should go through this current video series along with this playlist which is already available on my channel. There are 14 videos and roughly 100 questions. Together these two series will help you pass the exam. Please subscribe to my channel for questions 1 to 40. Please refer parts 1 to 10 of this video series. Let's jump into the questions. Question 41. Please pause the video to read it carefully. Now I can apply a fuzzy and, and a kiss technique. When I refer kiss, it means keep it simple and stupid. In this question, I understood there are three components communicating. I'll see this keyword missed transactions. When you see missed transactions, always remember this thumb rule. So whenever you see missed transactions, think of message queuing application like SQS. It is a fully managed message queue service for microservices, distributed systems and serverless applications. Can we find SQS anywhere? None of the options except option D. So this is my answer. Option A, if you write locally, it will not ensure missed transactions. So B, it talks about Lambda. Lambda will not help you with missed transactions. If you have use case for serverless infrastructure, then you use Lambda. C will not work. Question says there are application outages. So a direct call will not help here. You need a message queue. Even if there is an outage, the queue will store the unprocessed data. This is our final answer. So you see the fuzzy and a kiss method. It works. Let's look at 42. Understand the story. See, these two have to communicate with each other. I have put orange color because they are both AWS components and without leaving AWS network. So whenever such question comes, some rule says endpoint. That is the only way to not exit AWS network. So this is the NAT instance documentation. It is used to initiate outbound traffic to the internet. And C is wrong. NAT gateways, it is used to connect to services outside VPCs, which can also be internet. Hence, B is wrong. Internet gateways, they allow instances with public IPs to access internet. So it is still leaving your AWS network. So D is wrong. We will lock our answer. We got our answer is we used the fuzzy and kiss technique kiss means keep it simple and stupid 43 please read it carefully so what is the story story is simple you have redshift database you have s3 where big files 50 gb files are stored and you want to use these two data to visualize the findings we will apply the kiss technique. Thumb rule suggests whenever you have this scenario, so you should use Redshift Spectrum. You have two choices. Either you move this entire file to Redshift or you keep the file here and you use Redshift Spectrum to read this file. Redshift Spectrum will show this all the files here as tables in Redshift and you can join and do your visualization so always remember spectrum is the answer not athena or not any other tool 
do we find spectrum here yes a has spectrum so this is our answer let's look at b athena is not used for this purpose athena is a interactive query service you can analyze data in s3 that is fine and here it is saying use quicksight to join the data between athena and redshift to build with relations this can be one of the ways but not the most efficient way we want efficient way so b is wrong why because i already purchased redshift i already have spectrum now in this solution option b i have to use the athena service i have to use the quicksight service to merge the data and i'm also using redshift so i'm using one extra service that is athena i don't have to use athena uh, redshift is already there spectrum is already there i can make use of that so option c says this redshift cluster increase its size so this becomes big and now they are saying from s3 you move the data to redshift so you have to migrate the data data migration happens and then you build visualization using redshift in redshift so you never use redshift to build visualization there are separate tools quicksight is that tool in aws or if they use external tools like tableau etc now here the problem is you are not doing it efficiently you have a option spectrum is already available but what you are doing is you are going into data migration then you will use emr to query the data and this statement is wrong you will build the visualization in redshift this statement is wrong so c is totally wrong now let's look at d so it says move the data from redshift to s3 so all that millions and millions of transactions you move it spend unnecessary time and create files in s3 and then you plug elasticsearch and then you use kibana to visualize the results so this is the longest option okay it is not an efficient option and it will be a very time consuming option the least time consuming is this the least uh, expensive solution is a so, so let's move to the next question i hope this technique is working for you 44 see you have s3 and there are 200 gb of data and what happens is the corporation they analyze it and calculate number of things sold in each sales area during the preceding month they want a cost effective option let's scan through the options okay the first one says to use elastic search and kibana elastic search and kibana is the expensive solution not cost effective so we rule this out option b it suggests to use glue data log data catalog now if you see b c and d so let's apply our fuzzy and kiss technique so the first thing is they want to analyze and calculate so we need some sort of visualization in aws that visualization is quick site service it is cloud native to amazon and it is a serverless bi service do we have quick site here we have it in all three options b c and d the data is in s3 if you see d it says query the data in redshift data is not in redshift c says query the data in emr it is not in emr so b says query the data in s3 that is what our answer keep it simple and stupid so this is the right answer so let's look at question 45 please pause the video understand the story first so in short the question is saying you have sql server on prem that's why this is blue and orange is for aws you want to do this move it has to be sql server only because you cannot change the product because the application net code uses it and the company's goal is to maximize availability while decreasing the operational and administration costs we got our story now now we will apply this technique if i have to move this i'll use rds for sql server and move it can i see rds for sql server anywhere yes i can see i can see so many options b c and d so let's scan through the options first so a is totally ruled out because we will not put ec2 instance and install sql server on ec2 instance why because you have to decrease the operational and administration cost putting it on ec2 you will have to 
maintain the operational cost and administration cost for EC2. So it is not a viable solution for this use case. So this is wrong. Now between B, C and D, let's scan the options. First one says B says migrate the data to RDS SQL Server in multi ac deployment. Perfect. This will be RDS in a multi ac deployment. So multiple ACs will be available. And why it is required? Because it addresses maximize availability. So you can maximize availability using multi ac deployments. Now this is our option. And C. So I think B is right. C says uh, do the same thing but in a multi ac replica so replicas are not required we do not have a requirement to split the functionality of the database like one replica for read and other for writes and let's look at d it says cross region multi ac deployment you do not require a cross region because there is no global requirement here this application is not global so we will lock this answer so please subscribe to my channel so i hope you are focused on the concepts and the weaving techniques we used for questions 1 to 40 Please refer parts 1 to 10 of this video series. Please subscribe to my channel. This brings us to the end of part 11. See you in the next part.